Hello and welcome to Acrylic Code. Today we have a new touch designer tutorial on this animation. I will show you how you can create this step by step and you can add your own touch and be creative. Before we move on, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to support us into making more tutorials. We also recently launched a Patreon with different tiers to offer all touch designer files, online tools to create generative art, as well as personalized classes. I will leave the link to the Patreon in the comments for anyone who is interested. Now back to today's tutorial. We'll start by creating an instancing network. So let's press tab and we'll create a sphere shop. Right click at the out and attach a geometry. Then press tab and let's add a camera and a light comp. At the end, let's attach a render. Then press Alt and M to close the network with a null and turn on the display flag. In the parameter window of the render, go to the Common tab and we'll set the resolution to 1280 by 1280. Right click on the connecting line before the null, go to Insert Operator and let's attach a transform. In the parameter window, we set the alpha to 1 and toggle on Comp over Background Color. To decrease the size of the sphere, let's right click on the line after the sphere, go to Insert Operator and we'll attach here another transform. In the parameter window, set the uniform scale to 0.025. For the next step, we're going to instance this sphere with a new technique. Press tab and let's attach a line sop. Then right click add its out to attach a sop to chop. Press Alt and N to attach a null and then right click at the out of the null and we're going to convert back to sops with a chop to sop. Lastly, connect the line to the input of the chop tool. For the next step, we want to convert this line into a sinus wave. To do this, let's right click between the sop tool and the null, go to Add Operator, and we're going to attach a pattern chop. In the parameter window, let's go to the channel tab and we'll rename the channel to TY. So, what we're going to do is modify the Y parameter. First, let's go to the parameter window of the line and increase the number of points to 500. Then, right click on the line before the null, go to Attach Operator and we'll create a Replace Chop. In here, by attaching the pattern to its second input, we're replacing the line with the Y channel we just created. Now right click at the Out of the Chop tool and we'll introduce the Revolve Sop. The Revolve Sop will create a surface of revolution around our sine wave. To better recognize what is happening, let's attach an attribute create after the revolve and in the parameter window we'll compute the normals and the tangents and we'll get this shape. And in the beginning this will look a little edgy, but we can set the divisions in the detail tab to 100 and we'll get nice and round edges. From here we can go back to the pattern chop and animate the face by typing in apps time that seconds times 0.3. Like so, we animate the sine wave and this will cause our shape to move like this. If you notice here a significant drop in FPS, you can go back and decrease the divisions back to 50. And we can also select all the nodes and turn the viewer off. Great, now let's press Alt and N and drag to create a null after the attribute create and rename it to pause for position. I'm going to color this node red. Now let's open the parameter window of the geo, go to the first instance tab, turn the instancing on and we're going to drag and drop the position null to the translate op. Set translate x to p0, translate y to p1 and translate z to p2. And there we have a cool waterfall effect. From here I want to go to the camera and move it to a higher position and I will do the same with the light comp. Then I will also add another light and find some other position for it so we can have better lighting of our shape. In the next step, we'll add some color. To do this, let's press Tab and add a ramp top. Press Alt N and drag to attach a null. Rename the null to color and color the node red. Let's open the parameter window of the ramp, go to the Common tab and set the second parameter of the resolution to 1. And in the first one, we'll type OP and then we'll call the position 
and then that num points. I notice here that there are too many points, so we can either further decrease the divisions of the revolve or we can decrease the number of points of the line to 50. This will also turn the lines into circles. Now back to the ramp, we'll choose a color for one point and then let's create another point and choose a color for that one as well. From here, open the parameter window of the geo, go to the second instance tab and we'll drag and drop the color null to the color up. Set the R, G and B channels and we'll get a colorful animation. We can either have the colors be static or we could also animate the ramp by using the same expression we used for the pattern. So we go to the face, copy the expression and then paste it also on the face parameter of the ramp. To get rid of this border and have the color morph, we set the extend left parameter to mirror. If we want the color changing to happen faster, we can decrease the period to 0.5. And this was it, short and easy. From here on you could change the position or animate the camera or change the size of the spheres or add entirely new operators. I'm curious to see what you come up with, so if you recreate this, let me know in the comments. Also let me know if you have any questions or if you have an animation in mind you'd like for us to try out on Touch Designer. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, also thank you to our patrons for the support and I will see you next Friday with a new tutorial. Until then, have a great time, bye!